would like to request the program chair, Professor Dr. Mohammed Farashuddin, Chief Advisor and Founder Vice Chancellor, East West University, to say a few words for us. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Farhana Ferdowsi, the anchor, uh, the very effective, graceful anchor of the program. I also thank Dr. Barman, Director of IQSC, and the program coordinator. Honorable Minister, Dr. Deepu Muni, Member of Parliament, who is the guardian of 50 million members of the academia in Bangladesh, and a very effective a leader and guardian at that. I have the privilege, I had the privilege of sharing the same platform with her yesterday about this time. And Honorable Minister, from your statement, we get that we have to prepare our uh, graduates on outcome-based education, I'll come to that a little later. The special guest, my friend, Chair UGC, Dr. Kazi Shahidullah, Professor M.M. Shahidul Hassan, Vice Chancellor of East West University, other senior faculty members, uh, those who are attending from the other institution in Bangladesh, including Accreditation Council, and close to 300 participants from Bangladesh plus eight other countries. Greetings from Dhaka, welcome. We are most delighted that East West University has been able to organize this webinar seminar to inculcate the spirit of assurance of quality. Now in our language, there is a proverb called Falong Purichoyote. It simply means you are known, anything is known by the kind of final product it is. So our education will reach its full fruition when our graduates are, have expertise on not only the challenges and knowledge of the world, but also are totally relevant to the needs of Bangladesh. Why do we need it? Because as the minister said, our effective leader, Janabundu Sheikh Hasina, the prime minister, has taken the country to the broad way of economic and development and social transformation. It is the quality of our educated people, the scientists, the economists, the engineers, and, and the culturalists and all the others who will not only sustain this, but also improve upon this so that we can reap the benefit of demographic dividend and can assure the matching of the challenge that has been posed by COVID and would be posed by others. And as we know, each challenge brings about opportunities. And I think we have an opportunity now created and in Bangladesh, thanks to again Sheikh Hasina's 2008 initiative for digital Bangladesh. We are really prepared and in Bangladesh, we are now completing two and a half semesters of online education most effectively. Amongst other things, we have been fortunate to be able to uh, grant laptops, to 4% of our total enrolled students. May not be a very big uh, gesture, but we try. Those are the most disadvantaged. Those uh, who have complained that they don't have the money to pay the tuition and cannot attend classes because they don't have laptop. These two universities have been able to give 4% uh, of its students laptops on grant basis. I will echo the statement of our special guest. Indeed, in this uh, webinar seminar, we have some outstanding scholars from home and abroad who have brought refreshing ideas, ideas which, are, uh, which suits the challenges of the time. 
so that we can uh, train our graduates in such a manner that they can interact with anybody in the world on a one-to-one -one basis and can enrich themselves. I would like to also remind that in the year 1972, we had only 30,000 tertiary students. Now we have 4 million students who go to tertiary level education. So we have obtained one Q, the quantity. We need to obtain the other Q, the quality. And it is quite a challenge, uh, but I think we in Bangladesh are quite equal to the challenge with the help of the help and guidance and leadership of the Honorable Education Minister and the guidance of the uh, UGC and Accreditation Council, we will acquire this skill. I would, I cannot resist the temptation of making, make, making a two remarks, which I have done to the Accreditation Council. I think evolving or generating national standards is the topmost priority in Bangladesh. We need to have national standards so that we, that acts as a competitor for all of us, all client universities, to compare ourselves with the national standards, number one. Number two, we must have the critical need of developing self-assessment skills objectively. If we can inspire, in fact, force at times, all the university and all the program giving schools and institutions as to how to objectively do self-assessment on the basis of the national standards already developed, I think we have gone a long way. At East West University, we have some outstanding educators uh, who have evolved, who have worked on quality education. And as the Honorable Chair of UGC would remember, uh, last time when there was a peer review of quality, uh, seven of our East West University departments have been evaluated by the external evaluators, and we got one outstanding, five very good, and one good, nothing below good. And we hope with the webinar today and with the encouragement of the statements and appreciation of our work, we will be doing even better tomorrow. Before I conclude, we are now going through the time of the centenary celebrations of our father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the greatest Bengali and one of the great men of the world. So he would say, in his relaxed mood, mood to us, would say, Shunar Bangla Gorte Hule Refara, Shunar Manushchai. So he would say that, yes, we are aiming at the Golden Bengal, where there will be no one in hunger, no one without shelter, no one outside the uh, medical education, and no one uh, will be linguistic, and no one will be uh, parochial. And so, uh, so, so in that dream of a golden Bengal, he said, the only way we can reach that is to have golden boys and girls. And it is the education, the relevance of the education, quality of the education, transition from tradition-based to the output-based education that will transform our country, our society and would inspire others to reach the golden gate of Golden Bengal through Golden Boys and Girls. I thank you very much for your participation and for the encouragement to East West University. I would be remiss in my uh, pleasant duty if I did not vote, uh, propose a very big vote of thanks to those who have organized this webinar. I feel very proud as one of the uh, participants in this and one of the uh, creators of East West University that we have been doing very well as stated by the Honorable Minister and the Chair and we'll continue to do this if we have organizers of this quality at this university. Thank you very much Mr. Vice Chancellor and your team. Thank you very much Dr. Barman once again. Uh, so uh, have a good day and be stay safe, well and away from COVID-19. 
Thank you very much.